Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about what is a genomic library. For gene cloning, we need to have our gene of interest. From where we get our gene of interest? One of the source is the genomic library. Genomic library represents an entire genome of individual animal, plant, bacteria or virus under study. Or it is a collection of cloned segments of DNA containing at least one copy of every gene from a particular organism. So in this tutorial, we will be going to discuss about the construction of genomic library in detail. Construction of genomic library of a phage. Step 1. We need to isolate DNA from this phage. So we have isolated the DNA from this phage. Step 2. We need to cut this isolated DNA into suitable size fragments using restriction enzymes like a now we have the fragments we have designated it is as a b c d e and for uh, for the sake of understanding uh, so dna fragments from donor cells step 3 we have to introduce these fragments into a suitable vector vector can be plasmid cosmid lambda phage etc so we have introduced our fragments into suitable vector uh, let us take this as plasmid we have introduced our fragment Step 4. Introduction to a suitable host, often a bacterium like E. coli. Here we have, we have the recombinant DNA molecule, that is a plasmid with the DNA fragment. We have introduced that fragment into uh, E. coli or bacterium. So we have the five, five fragments incorporated in different bacteria. This is followed by multiplication. Inside the bacterium, these plasmid replicates so will be having a number of copies of that particular fragment. And from the rest, we need to identify the colonies that is having this fragment, multi screening and identification of these clones. These bacteria multiply continuously forming colonies. Now in the petri plate, we have uh, colonies formed from all these fragments. In each, this colony is having fragment A, colony B is having fragment B, like that CDE. So in this plate, this is a, this represents a genomic library of that phage. Here, all the fragments, that five fragments of this phage, are present in the colonies of this plate. This maintenance of these set of called clones is called as genomic library. So this is the steps of, uh, in the construction of genomic library. Uh, this is a summary. First of all, we need to isolate. DNA from cell under study, then we need to cut it into suitable size fragments using restriction enzymes, then introduce that fragment into a suitable vector like plasmid, cosmid, etc. Then we need to find out, screen out the, the host with our desired gene fragment and identification and characterization of clones and maintenance of such clones containing fragments of phage uh, representing the ender genome of that particular organism is called as the genomic library. Hope you got the point and uh, this is biologyexamsforyou.com. Thanks for watching.